Today we're going to learn how to create fruit animals using Adobe Photoshop CC and as you can see by my screen um, you're looking at the finished product and so I've already gone ahead and I've found my three images that I want to work with so today I'll be using a lion, the orange, you can use any sort of circular type of fruit such as a kiwi or any type of melon and I've also found a background um, just to save a little bit of time so I'm gonna go ahead and open up Photoshop and I've also created a brand new canvas to, um, to work on so you're looking at eight and a half by eleven uh, landscape orientation 300 dpi and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up my lion file I'm gonna click open and my lion is already in PNG format. So, so if your um, animal has some sort of background to it, you'll want to remove it from the background layer. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drag him into my file. Click, hold, and drag. So there he is. He's in the file. And now I want to um, break him apart, essentially. And I'm going to use a combination of the rectangular marquee tool and the elliptical marquee tool. Um, so we'll start with the elliptical marquee tool first. And so basically I want to make a circular selection. So I'm going to hold the shift key down to make the circle. And then I'm going to click and hold to create a circle. Okay, so I'm holding the shift key down and I'm going to click there and I'm going to actually move it over because I'm not totally happy with my placement. I'm going to move this over just a little bit and then I'm going to switch back over. So you'll see I'm going to add to my selection up top. So I'm going to click that and then I'm going to, I can switch over to the rectangular marquee tool and I'm going to click add to my selection here. So I'm going to add and you'll see what's happening here as I advance my selection, that my selection area is getting bigger. Okay, so I'm just adding to my selection, but what's really important is that I don't interfere with the actual circular shape here. Okay, so once I have that done, I can use the move tool and just pull the line over here just a little bit, like so. You don't want to overdo it because you want it to look as natural as possible. And then we are going to uh, Command D to deselect. And then we're going to bring in our fruit. So I'm going to go and open up my orange file, open. And I'm going to grab my orange and I'm going to click open. Okay, so here this is a JPEG file. I'm going to have to remove the orange from this image to bring into my new file. So for this, I'm just going to use um, the quick selection tool and I'm going to select the inside of my fruit. Oops, I've overdone it there. So I'm gonna go and tidy it up and make my brush smaller. Okay, and I'm gonna actually subtract some of this. I don't really need to bring that in. So I'm just going to tidy that up. Oops. And I'm going to remove that last little bit there. Okay, so I'm ready to bring that into my lion file. I'm going to bring that over into here and place it. Okay, now you can see it's quite big. It's on its own layer. I'm going to tidy it up a little bit. Um, as you can see, I brought in a little bit of white, so I'm just going to zoom in there. And I'm going to erase that little bit. Tidy it up. Don't want to 
overdo it like that. We'll zoom out. Okay, and as you can see, it's quite large right now. So I'm going to use the transform tool to make it smaller. So if we hit Command T on the keyboard, okay, Command T, short for transform, I can start scaling it down. And I'm actually just going to turn the opacity down just ever so slightly so that I can see my lion, which will help me like size it. So I'm just going to bring it down. I can move it into place. I'm going to rotate it a little bit. So I need to figure out a position that works well for, for setting this up. I'm just going to rotate that. And then if I hold the command key down, I can kind of distort it, skew it a little bit so that it fits better. Okay, like so. And then I'm going to go back in. I'm going to select my my, la my lion layer. Go to my magic wand tool. And now what you want to do is you want to go up to select, inverse, and go and use the eraser tool on the fruit layer and start erasing your fruit, like so. I'm going to do the other side as well. Okay, so once you've done that, you can go ahead and merge your layers. So I'm going to select Command D to deselect, and then I'm going to merge these two layers together. So um, right click merge layers. Okay, so now this layer is one layer. Actually, I'm going to undo that because I want to up my opacity again so that it's at full concentration. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and merge my layers. Merge layers. Okay, and now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a shadow to make it look a little bit more realistic and give a bit of depth of, um, to the photo. So still on this layer, I'm going to go down to effects. I'm going to just select drop shadow. And you can see here my blend mode is in normal. My opacity, um, I did drop it. It was at 100. It's a bit too dark. So I dropped it down to about 60, 65, somewhere around there is good. You can adjust the angle of your shadow. And the distance is fine for now, so I'm just going to click OK. And then from here, you're going to come up to Layer, Layer Style, Create Layer. And you're going to get a note saying some aspects of the effects cannot be reproduced with layers. Click OK. And you can see there's a new layer that's been created. So I'm going to click that and use Command-T to transform it. And now I can start playing with the, the shape of my shadow. So if I, again, hold the Command key down, I can give a little bit of distortion to my, to my lion, um, to the shadow. And I'm just going to move this up, do a little bit of repositioning so that it looks a bit more realistic looking, just a little bit of repositioning. And once you have your shadow the way you want it, uh, you can collect it, click or accept it, and then you're going to go up to Filter, Blur, 
Gaussian blur just to soften the shadow a little bit. So I'm going to click OK. And then the next thing you want to do is you want to go and add in your background layer. So we're going to go to File, Open. I'm going to select my background layer, click Open. Okay, and I'm going to move it into my new file and drop it in. And I'm just going to resize it and reposition it. Command T. I'm just going to stretch it to fit my canvas. Like so. Okay, and I'm going to reorder my layers because I want this to be behind my shadow. So I'm going to click there. Okay, there it is. And then lastly, I'm just going to go over it with the burn tool. Go over the line with the burn tool. So let's select that layer just to darken it up a little bit. So I can just kind of go over that like so. Like that. And when you're all done, you can save it as a JPEG. File, save as. JPEG, we'll call it fruit animal. I'm going to save it to my desktop. Click save. Okay, and you're done. Thanks for watching.